part of a team, a competition, the X Prize Rainforest. And our challenge is to figure out how to survey 100 hectares of rainforest in 24 hours uh, and survey the biodiversity of that space. Every living animal or plant in their environment are constantly leaving their DNA and we're finding those traces. Ideally we fly with the drone above where it's very safe for the drone and then we lower the probe so we can still access the DNA that is present uh, inside the canopy and we will go deep down to the surface so we can collect also um, surface uh, samples on the soil so we can program waypoints on a map and the drone will uh, actually follow the trajectory by, by, by itself while sampling. I would like to tell the drone look when you are at this waypoint just stop then uh, drop the probe go maybe up and down a couple of times and then move to the next waypoint and then go up and down a couple of times and, and so on. So you so can program it? Yes, yes, yes. What is nice here is since they know basically everything that is inside the, the Mazuala, so we have sort of a ground truth. So we can understand how effective is the sampling technique that we've used, or we can compare different sampling techniques. The place where we process them is where we get the most contamination, and that's actually in a laboratory. So if we don't take the samples into a lab, and we want to sample what's literally right here, if we just stay here and I contaminate it with DNA from this plant, I don't care, because I actually want to find that, right? So when I see data right now, about 80 to 90 percent of what I have in there that I really genuinely think is a real sequence, I, I can't put a name on it. We can measure it, we can find it, we can say it's here and in these 10 other locations, but we don't know what it is, we can't put a name on it, we don't know what its function in the ecosystem is. So it's actually a technology allowing us to explore and discover the world in a whole new way. Mm -hmm.